Hi everyone, welcome back to Art of the Part. In this video, we're gonna continue on with our Mastercam exercise of 98431, and we're gonna cover how to do drilling operations as well as chamfer uh, milling for the final or finish operation for deburring. So let's go ahead and move on past that slot milling. So we've already done the entirety of the uh, island. We've done the slot mill, and now we're gonna move on to just cutting away some of these, uh, or sorry, cutting these drilling operations. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to then hit the drop down menu inside of 2D and we're gonna look for drill. So when we select on drill, we are now going to use the drilling operation. We're only gonna do one of these at a time unless we're uh, using um, holes that are like the same size. So in that 98433 part, that's a good example where there's holes on the, on the right side that you can select three at the same time. But in this instance, we're just gonna choose one hole uh, per drill because we're going to have to link it to a specific drill. So when we are inside the toolpath hole definition, we're going to click on these holes and we can also click on the bottom edge here and that's going to give us our proper depth and it's going to tell us what the diameter is. So it's telling us it's 313. So when I hit the green check mark, I'm going to then go into my tools and once again, I'm going to be in this select tool library or filter if I'm in my select tool library, it's gonna be all the different types of uh, drills that are available for me. Um, I'm gonna to go to filter and I'm just going to select none. And then I'm just going to look for a standard drill here, which is going to be right there. And then I am still gonna be uh, welcomed by a handful of drills that are gonna be available, but I took out like my spot drills and things of that nature. Um, but you can also just uh, look down this column here for 313 and that's going to be right here. That's 5 16th drill, Hit the green check mark, and I'll type in 5 16th drill. And then I'll go over here to stock, can leave that alone, cut parameters. We're just going to do a standard drill. You can also check, uh, change this to pack drilling if you've got a big deep drill, uh, drilled hole and you've got to remove chips. Uh, you can also do chip breaking, um, but we're just going to do drill counter bore here. And then we're going to go to linking parameters. Clearance, I'll turn that on, I'll leave that one. Absolute, 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 absolute. Uh, the depth, I just have to change this now, so I'll click on depth, because I want it to go down all the way through the bottom of the part, so this is a through hole, so it's actually negative 0.725. And then I have to turn on tip compensation, so that when the drill comes through the bottom of the part, it compensates for where that drill tip is. So I'm gonna turn on tip compensation, and the breakthrough amount, I'm gonna change that to 0 0.0. 625. And then my tip angle, um, it's just dependent on what drill you're using. We're just using the standard 118 uh, degree drills here. And then you can turn on your coolant flood on green check mark. And that's pretty simple for how you approach drills. And you're just going to do the same thing for all these different um, drill points here. Uh, you're just going to be different in the fact that you have through holes and then blind holes. So when I move over to my blind hole here, I'm gonna select the shoulder of the blind mill right here as my depth. So that's gonna be 281, hit the green check mark. I'll go over here to tools, I'll filter out again, make sure my drill is selected, select tool library, and then we're gonna look for a 281 drill or something that's close. So 281 right there, select that, hit the green check mark, and I'll just name this 0.281 drill. And then I'll go down here to cut parameters, leave that as drill counter bore, linking parameters. We'll go and change this to absolute, absolute, absolute. And the depth, it's already recognized it because that's what we chose for the shoulder, but I'll just double check it. I'll double click on that shoulder again. And then I'll hit the green check mark. So then I just have to continue moving on through my different holes here. Drill again. So I'll select the bottom edge of this hole green check mark, tool, it's a 213. Um, I'll select tool library, I'll find a 213 right there. 213, drill, and then down to linking parameters. Uh, if this is a through hole, but it's also recognizing that the top of stock is above. Um, this would then interfere with the clearance that we're setting. So I'm just gonna change this top of stock here to zero. It just probably recognized it from a previous toolpath. Uh, tip compensation, we're gonna turn that on. Green check mark. 
Uh, one thing I do want to um, point out here, it might have kept it with this other drill counter bore in the operation before, so this was the 281. Uh, turn off your tip compensation because we're actually not breaking through the bottom of the part. So just something that crossed my mind here. Um, turn off that tip compensation for the blind holes. You only want that tip comp if you have a through hole. And then we'll do this la the last operation here, drill, and we'll select that shoulder, green check mark. This is a quarter inch drill. And I then have to look for a quarter inch drill. Right there, 0.250, drill. And then go to linking parameters, depth, that looks good, uh, top of stock. We're gonna change that to zero. Just double check on this top, or the depth here, yeah, 0.45. Tip comp, turn off, because it's a blind hole. So turn off your tip comp for blind holes. And then hit the green check mark. So now we have all of our drilling operations. And if I uh, simulate that, go up here, select my, sorry. Just trying to select my tool, tool path group one. And then I'm going to simulate all this. So again, we're just cleaning up that outside then finishing it up, doing our slot. And then we'll come back and do our holes. All right. And then we're going to then do our final pass around here with our chamfer. And we're going to do two different types of chamfering. So we're going to chamfer the edges, and then we're going to chamfer the slot, and then the we're going to chamfer the holes. So the slot and the edges are going to be one chamfer tool, and then the uh, actual holes themselves are going to be another chamfer tool. So it uh, looks like my arrow moved up here for some reason. I'm going to move that down all the way to the bottom. And then inside of the 2D, I'm going to select model chamfer. So I'll select that model chamfer. Uh, it's asking me for chain geometry. Um, it didn't pop up like with the chain geometry, geometry from before. Uh, so I got to click on this select chains. Uh, we're going to treat this just like how we did with our climb milling before. So I'm just going to do that and that. So these are going clockwise. And then this one is going to go counterclockwise. So I'll click on that edge right there. And then I'll hit the green check mark. Tool. We're going to have to filter. And we're going to look for a none. We're going to look for a chamfer tool here. Radius mill, chamfer mill right there. Green check mark. And then select tool. We're just going to use a uh, we're going to use a half inch chamfer tool. Let's do chamfer edges. Cut parameters. Uh, we want to make sure that our offsets are the depth that we're setting up. So the chamfer width we want this to be 0.156, and then the offset will also make that 0.156 or 0.0156 rather. And then we're going to go depth cuts. Doesn't have to come into effect here, lead and lead out. We can turn that off um, if we want to. Uh, it might come into effect and I might have to split up the toolpath for the slot here. Uh, I'm just gonna turn this off for this instance because it's such a small cut. And then I'm gonna see how this plays out. All right. I'll verify selected operation. Oops, sorry, I gotta do all these here, toolpath group one, verify selected operation, and then we'll kind of move through this again. And we'll see if that chamfer mill worked out pretty good for us. Yep, looks like a pretty good chamfer. We can make that smaller if we want, um, but I, that 0156 is, is a pretty good edge break there. And then lastly, we'll do the um, edge breaks or the chamfer drills. So if I hit the drop down menu here, we also have an option for chamfer drilling, which is here in hole making. So it's a little bit further down, select chamfer drill. And we're just going to select all of these together because now these are going to be linked to the same tool. And it's going to be dependent on the size of the hole and how far that uh, chamfer drill is going to go down. So I'll hit OK. We can uh, select tool. And then if I filter this out, 
we're just going to look for a, we can use another chamfer mill or we can use a chamfer drill or spot drill. Uh, so I'll probably use a, a spot drill here. So let's go to drill. Spot drill. And then select tool library. I'll use, uh, I just want to be a little bit bigger, so I'll use a half inch spot drill. And then I'll do, uh, we'll just do chamfer drills. And then we'll go over here to cut parameters. Once again, we have to set up depth. I'll go 0.0156. Link your parameters. It's all good. And then green check mark. And then we can select all of this once again, go up here to toolpath group one, and then select the verified operations. And then we'll see how this all looks here at the end. Yep, and it just broke those edges on those holes. So then in this exercise, we just covered how to use um, the drill, drilling function, as well as how to do chamfers, and then kind of the combination of the two using a uh, spot drill as a chamfer to break those edges, because otherwise you'd have to then do like a full circle around those if you're using a uh, chamfer mill. Um, so when you have a spot drill like that, you're just coming down a specific depth and you're just breaking those edges. So I'm going to save that. And then in the next video, we're going to talk about posting this all out and getting it ready for the machine. So I'll go to File, Save As, and just save over my last part.